I remember when we were going to make a film, none of which you will remember, called In Which We Serve. It was a film about the British war effort. It was a story of a destroyer. Um, in fact, Lord Louis Mountbatten was the, was the um, Captain D of this destroyer, which was called the Kelly. And it was a story purely of this ship from the moment they laid the keel plate until it was sunk in the Mediterranean by the Germans and uh, the rem remnants of the crew were, were uh, rescued and taken ashore. Sorry of a ship. And uh, Noel Coward became very keen to do this because he was a great friend of Louis Mountbatten. Louis Mountbatten, by the way, was the, he was blown up by the Irish eventually and uh, he it was his, his uncle to Prince Philip, our, uh, uh, our Queen's husband. Um, and he wanted to do this film. And an Italian called Filippo del Ducice uh, was a producer who was trying to get some money. Well, when he heard that Noel wanted to do this, he goes rushing along to Noel and he says, uh, Mr. Card, I am going to produce a picture about the British war effort and I hear you are interested in making one. Uh, and he convinced Noel completely that all the finance was there. Noel said, well, I want a very strong unit around me. I've never made a film. I will direct this film as well as write it, but I want a strong unit so I will go and see a lot of films and I will let you know, Mr. Del Ducci, in the next two weeks, uh, the, my principal unit. And that is how I came to meet him because he went to see Major Barbara that I'd photographed and, and David had edited. That was a Shaw play turned into a film. And he got us to go along, Noel got us to go along and see him and said, I would like you to photograph my film and I would like you, David, to co-direct it with me and uh, what do you both say? And uh, he said, I will read you the script. Well, to keep it short, we both decided we would love to do it. So now Noel says, okay, I'm going to get to, who do you recommend to design the sets? I said, well, John Brown is a wonderful designer. And he says, right, let's just get John Brown. And then he asked David, various people that, of the unit that uh, we might uh, have, um, I was going to be the cameraman, so we'd already got that. Now, Dale Lucci goes to Denham Studios, and he says, we have this whole thing going. We want to start shooting in six weeks. We have naval, naval cooperation. Uh, we have uh, Mountbatten has promised we can have all the sailors we want as extras, and we won't have to pay from, for them, even though it was in the middle of the war. And um, Denham Studios were delighted to have a big picture coming in, uh, to fill their stages, which were empty. And uh, so sets started to be designed and sets started to be built. And Del Giudici gave a magnificent cocktail party at Claridge's Hotel. And everybody was there, from the press, from everywhere. It was an enormous party, beautifully done. And then, four days later, we started to shoot the film. Now, ten days after that, Del Ducici called David and I, not Noel, into his office and said, I have to tell you two something. We don't have any money. And we never did. Everything up to now has been done on credit. <laughs> and we can't go on for more than another two or three days. So we said, but it's not possible. You, you, paid, us, you, you paid us our first payment, because you know one was paid something at the beginning of the picture, something in, in the middle, and something at the end. He said, yes, but that's all there is. So I said, well, what about that great big cocktail party, for example, you know? He said, I can't leave Claridge's. <laughs> <laughs> They're not gonna let me out. He said, I'm surprised they let me come down to the studio, because I owe them so much money that they reckon only by keeping me there will they ever get it. <laughs> so, we had got 10 days work behind us. We had 10 days of good film. And thank God, 
Dell asked the then head of British Lion Films, it was a distributor, to come down and look at the 10 days' work. A fellow called Sam Smith, long since dead, nice character. He saw the 10 days and he said, OK, I guarantee the full finance for you because it's obviously going to be good. And uh, he guaranteed us the money. Didn't, didn't have to put his hand in his pocket, mind you, or in his company's pocket. His guarantee was enough. Then the banks loaned us money, and then, then from there it all was plain sailing. So that's another example of, of the producer.